Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out the Sean Waterspoon Atmos A6 Gel Light 3. That took me like four takes to say. The Sean Waterspoon A6 Gel Light 3 first dropped at Atmos stores in Asia in July at a retail price of about $165. Following that, they dropped in the US on August 14th with a European drop coming around August 21st. And these are a pair that I just really, really wanted. The Sean Waterspoon Air Max 197s are actually one of my favorite pairs of shoes, which has a resale price that I just cannot afford right now. So I was really hoping to get my hands on these. Plus that pair came out in like 2017. So it's definitely been a wait for a new Sean Waterspoon collab. But of course the resale on these shoes have also been pretty crazy at like four or five times the retail price. Unfortunately, I got an L on the Atmos raffle. So yeah, couldn't get my hands on them. Luckily, my buddy Ryan from Grails Plug had a pair. So major thanks to them for hooking me up with these. A lot of y'all have DM'd me on Instagram asking me how I managed to get so many hype sneakers. So I figured I might as well just mention my plug now and then. Even though they're based here in Malaysia, Grails Plug ships to most parts of the world. So if you want a pair of hype sneakers that you haven't been able to get your hands on, you can totally get in touch with them on Instagram. And I'll leave a link to Grails Plug on Instagram in the description below. Starting with the box, it's a really special edition box with the A6 branding along with the Atmos branding and the Sean Waterspoon logo as well. Opening up the box, obviously you'll see the two pairs of shoes. You'll also see a Velcro sticker with the Atmos branding and the Sean Waterspoon branding as well. And then there's my favorite part of the shoe, the interchangeable Velcro A6 Tiger Stripes. These are made out of a canvas material and come in a bunch of colors. There's a green set, a black set and a blue set, which is in addition to the yellow set and the red set that comes on the shoes. Honestly, this is really my favorite part of the shoe because this means that you can change things up with these interchangeable tiger stripes to kind of give the shoe a different vibe. It's just so awesome and I totally love it. All right, coming to the shoes themselves, it's the same A6 Gel Light 3 silhouette that we've seen many times before, but the upper is entirely made out of this corduroy material on top. You can also see that the left pair and the right pair each have completely different but complementing colors. This is because the right shoe represents Los Angeles where Sean Waterspoon is based. Meanwhile, the left shoe represents Tokyo where Atmos is based. Personally, I wish both shoes were the same color or at least two separate sets, but overall it does make the shoe look really unique and special. The right shoe's tones stem from Los Angeles city streets. It's bright colors during the day and a vibrant field of flowers that Sean was inspired by. And then contrasting the LA side, the left shoe emulates the scenery from Tokyo's side streets. It's definitely a really unique shoe. And in general, they're a lot more vibrant than the Nike pair. Starting with the right pair, you have this orange, then light blue, then aqua main colors with hits of yellow, light gray, brown, and purple. Whereas on the left pair, you have a dark purple on the toe box area with this light purple next to it and this forest green color with a paler shade of green followed by black and hits of red and white. At the top of the shoe, you have these bright white laces with silver lace tips, which is a nice touch. You also get another pair of laces, which is in this off-white, slightly brownish kind of color. Yeah, it's kind of a hard color to describe. Underneath the laces, you have the usual Gel Light 3 split tongue, which is different from a usual shoe tongue in that it is split down the middle to make the shoe more comfortable to wear while also fitting better. Coming to the inside of the shoe, on the right pair, you have an orange insole with the A6 branding and Sean Waterspoon branding as well. Whereas on the left pair, you have this light purple insole with the A6 branding and Atmos branding as well. Honestly, I love that even the insoles are different colors. It's crazy. Moving towards the back, one thing I really liked is how towards the heel area, there's the Gel Light 3 logo embroidered into the sides in all of these different colors, which just looks really cool. And then towards the bottom of the heel, you have this TPU heel clip to add a little bit of structure and support in the heel area and the back end of the shoe. Speaking of which, coming to the back of the shoe, at the top you have the A6 logo with the gel logo underneath. One really extra element here is that if you cut out the gel logo on both of these shoes, one shoe has the Atmos logo underneath while the other has the Sean Waterspoon signature underneath. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that to this pair, so you're just gonna have to trust me on that. That entire gorgeous upper sits on this bright white midsole which matches the white laces. And then coming to the bottom of the shoe, you have the usual A6 Gel Light 3 outsole with this purple, white and black color scheme on the left pair and this brown, white and purple color on the right pair with the A6 branding right in the middle. 
That's about it for design. Coming to comfort and fit, these fit just like any other pair of Asics Gel Light 3. There's a ton of other Gel Light 3 shoes. So if you're worried about how these fit, you can just head on over to an ASIC store and try one out just to know for sure. If you have narrow feet, you can go true to size here. But if you have wide feet like I do, you definitely want to go up half a size. Just because it's a little snug at the toe box. The split tongue here definitely helps make it more comfortable. But it's still a little snug around the forefoot area. In terms of comfort, again, these feel just like any other pair of ASICS Gel Light 3. The midsole is soft and there's ASICS Gel cushioning towards the heel. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's a pretty good level of comfort. That is way more comfortable than a pair of regular Jordan 1s, but not as comfortable comfortable as Adidas Boost or Nike's React midsoles. Like I said, just like any other pair of Gel Light 3s. So you can head on over to an A6 store and try one out just to know what I'm talking about. All in all, I actually really love this shoe. I've been a huge A6 fan for years now and the Gel Light 3 is one of my favorite sneaker silhouettes of all time. The last pair that I got were the Transformers A6 Gel Light 3 that I totally think deserve more hype because they were just so well done. I also have these Anniversary Edition Gel Light 3s that I've been meaning to make a video on forever. But yeah, oh well. Another thing that I love about this particular pair is the corduroy. Maybe because my parents kept sticking me in corduroy when I was a kid. But I don't know, there's just something about the material that just really looks so unique on shoes. It's really hard to get right, but I think we can all agree that Sean Waterspoon is a master of corduroy on shoes right now. So he and ASICS have actually done a really great job here. Honestly, I really wish I could get these, but I just don't want to pay the resale price on these. So I'm just going to observe them from afar right now and hope that I can maybe find a cheap worn pair someday in a size UK 11. Alright guys, so that's what I think about the Sean Waterspoon Atmos A6 Gel Light 3. It's a pretty great pair and I'm really interested to know what you guys think about these shoes. Are they deserving of all the hype? Or do we all just still only want the Nike collab version instead? Let me know right in the comment section below. And hey, if you want to see more photos of the shoe, feel free to hit me up on Instagram and give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. Also, hey, if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.